Their base is currently only in s built around with wool, while BLHS is slightly ahead with the endstone. Some different tactics that they have here, but looks like that Rogers would like to save more on their resources for building protection around the bend. Here BLHS is making a move to get the emerald generators in the middle and could be potentially going towards Rogers, but seems like Duke is... Oh, here we go. A little standoff on the bridge versus the drift and OSS Dragon here, breaking a few blocks to cut off the bridge towards all the other generators. As Billy just does this, Rogers kind of just stands around and waits. I'm not sure what their game plan strategy is going to be here. Seems like they're going to be building back the bridge, getting on the high ground. Who's going to be able to build up faster to knock the other player off? It's a race to build the tower here. BLHS slowly building up faster. Now this is quite the tower build off we're seeing here. Rogers has the a high ground advantage, but little does BLHS know is that Duke over here is going to finish building the bridge and take off. BLHS is going to have to fall down and just get the respawn reset here. Dropping a couple emeralds giving it to Rogers as they reset and destroy this tower build off. Looks like one of the Rogers players also falls off to get that respawn reset and Duke goes to finish off the bridge towards the diamond generators. Looking back, we see that OSS Dragon has respawned to grab his items and starts to push over to where Duke is playing. They switch on trade-off spots as OSS Dragon seems to be heading towards BLHS's base. For now, we haven't seen the other BLHS player. I'm not quite sure where they can be sitting at. Oh, here they are, collecting materials, building that deep slate, I believe, block around their bed, getting that extra protection, but do they hear OSS Dragon breaking it down? There goes the bed! Roger's coming in to get the kill to seal the deal on McKieran. And there goes one, it's now just the Drift left alone to defend BLHS here. Sticky situation they're in with no bed and it's a 2v1. I'm gonna head back to see that OSS Dragon's going to be respawning. See how this 2v1 plays out. Here's OSS Dragon going back into the middle to grab Emerald Generator. Could they be heading back for more? I see the drift here. Billy just on the edge while Rogers continues to grab all the emerald generators. With complete mid control and resource advantage, it's going to be very difficult for BLHS to take this win back. Here you go, the Drift is going to go for an aggressive move, pushes OSS Dragon, but he has the high ground. Does some parkour to navigate around. It's going to be quite the chase we have. It's going to be running back to his own base, Duke falling up behind. It's 2v1 and BLHS is going to have to back off here. The chances and probability of winning this 2v1 to turn back the game would be awfully difficult pushing Roger's base. BLHS is here trying to destroy the bridge a bit, trying to cut off mid entry point. But here we go, trying to claim the high ground on this tower again, but Rogers is just going to be ch relaxing and chilling here, building more around their base to protect that bed.
here we go again. We're gonna have another tower build off to see who has the high ground. OS is dragging and the drift is gonna have another stair off it seems. All the while, Duke is down at the base. Staring from down below, OSS Dragon falls off the build, taking some fall damage. The drift starts to build right above it, maintaining the high ground. But as we're waiting, Rogers is just going to keep building up their resources, buying more things from the shop, and eventually, BLHS is going to have to jump down from the tower, and here we go. Takes a couple fall damage, but not too much to take him out. A really risky situation. One wrong move and too much fall damage could end the game right here. It looks like they're going to be able to safely get down with just the right amount of blocks and they're going to back off towards middle to grab more emeralds and other resources. Come back for more. While Rogers is going to be still sitting at the base, collecting up resources and buying from the shop. Playing more on the passive side for this 2v1 here. Trying not to Play too risky and mess up and get the advantage back to BLHS. Here's OSS Dragon going back to the middle, hoping to find some emeralds left behind from BLHS. Finds one, looking for more. Finds another, and Duke seems to be just holding down the base as OSS Dragon comes to grab resources, hopefully for a final standoff on the 2v1. As Rogers maintains their base control and mid control, BLHS went to go back to base, restocking some items, and here they go to push back into mid. OSS Dragon seems to be taking the high ground inside the base, but does he notice BLHS wa wandering right underneath? Seems to be so, as he backward climbs up to grab the final emeralds on the top of the tower. Begins to descend, but... Going to descend the tower here. Grab some final emeralds inside the middle. What could they be saving up for? Seems like BLHS is back on the offensive here, but Duke is, has them pinned down with the bows and arrows, trying to pre-fire knock off BLHS from this high post that they have. Continue the building up, BLHS is here trying to reclaim the high ground once again. As Rogers here seems to be unfazed, they continue to just gather resources and buy. TNT gets dropped down on below onto Rogers' bed. Here comes Duke trying to repair some of it. Pulls out the bow and arrow. Will he get a shot off? And he takes one. BLHS is down to 15 health, grabbing the golden apple to get that regen. Back to 20. Duke with the nice bow and arrow shots, getting the good angle. The LHS is going to have to give up the high ground and go and retreat to grab more materials and regen that health, while Rogers is going to pre build that protection on their bed. Seems now Rogers has diamond armor and diamond swords, bows and arrows, giant advantage in armor and tool sets versus BLHS right now. It's only a matter of time before Rogers gets a big enough advantage to go on the offensive and close out this game. Duke runs over to grab some quick diamonds from the diamond gen right next to their home base and then retreats back to grab some more upgrades. Let's go across the map and check out on 
what BLHS is currently up to. Not inside their base. Hearing a gas charge, is that... Could BLHS be back on the offensive yet again? Unable to find BLHS's position. Here comes back OSS Dragon to reclaim that mid position. Taking up mid control. And here's BLHS. We have found them running back to the home base with Rogers on the offensive here. All he needs is this one kill, and that'll close out this match for game two. Bow and arrow in hand. BLHS only has iron tools and iron armor. Rogers with enchanted and diamond armor. BLHS with a high ground, throwing fire charges. Takes the arrow shot down to 17 health. Both Rogers members on the offense take shooting more arrows. 9 health. Down to 6, and just like that, nice shots. And that is game 2 for Rogers. OSS with the 3 kills, Drift 2, and Duke with 1. Closing out game two for one to one. We'll be right back once they finish selecting their next map. And we're back with game three. Current score, Rogers 1, BLHS 1. Starting off on a new map with tons of water, so there's a bunch of movement and escape opportunities here for both teams without needing many blocks to build. Be interesting to see how this gets played out by both teams. Rogers starting off with the end stone build around the bed as there's a fight between Rogers and BLHS right away. Duke versus the Drift. The Drift winning with 13 health remaining. Going for the swim flank on Rogers here. Melissa's Dragon seems to be just grabbing resources and building as Duke takes on the showdown once again. Starting off with the high ground, getting the first hit. The Drift starts to run over to his Oasis Dragon, trying to get to 2v1, and there goes the Drift trying to get that sneaky destroying the red there, but Rogers prevailing against that 2v1. All the while the other BLHS player is gathering resources to get that quick advantage against Rogers.
Here we can we see Duke swimming out. Hopefully we see Duke try to do the same here. He's gonna try scaling the wall, I assume. And there he goes. Scaling the wall is the blue wool. Hopefully getting the flank and doing the same exact strategy as BLHS it seems, but maybe it'll be successful for Rogers here. Tries to scout the area for any BLHS players. Scouts out and starts to take the swim and dive across, but the drift seems to have spotted them. They're going to have a swim off here. The other BLHS player is nowhere to be seen. Duke seems to be lagging out, giving BLHS the advantage with the first hit. BLHS continuing with the hit after hit after hit. 13 to 5 health, 2 to 10, and fight goes to BLHS as they come over to try to scale the wall and do the exact same thing. Seems a strategy for both teams here is to be using this wall and go into the water with a quick flank on the bed. While one player goes on the flank, the other player is gathering resources to continue to build up their advantage of tools and armor. BLHS swimming down the deep. Duke spots him. Rogers does have the tool advantage with iron swords versus BLHS's stone swords. 2v1. BLHS is going to try to escape here. But of course, the 2v1 with the iron sword advantage goes to Rogers. They're continuing to build up their materials of iron and gold, but now see that Duke is going to go for the diamond generators here to get a big advantage. Haven't seen either team start to go for the emerald generators quite yet. Seems like all the emerald generators are full still, it seems. Yeah. Whoever does get to that middle first to grab those emeralds should have a huge advantage versus the other. But as Rogers is here building up the arsenal of now iron armor as well, enchanted in iron armor, they seem to have the advantage right here with both tools, armors, and they have the stair staircase on the wall compared to BLHS's just straight up tower that they have to build each and every time. Beds seem to have equal protection with BLHS, decking it out a little more on the wooden planks than Rogers has. Starting to build on the end stone, but doesn't seem like they're going more on tools. They're lacking more on the armor and tool upgrades and going for more of the building upgrades. Two completely different strategies for BLHS and Rogers, and we'll see how this affects game three. Diamond generators now have hit tier 2 and will be spawning more frequently, hopefully giving both teams a big advantage here, whoever gets the generators the most and best. Duke heading on over to claim the diamonds. Neither team has claimed the emeralds still. No, but here we go. Duke seems to be heading towards mid control, trying to get the first one to hit the emeralds. See if we could see BLHS doing the exact same, but seems they completely are disregarding the emerald generators. Rogers here is going to be able to quickly, easily grab big advantage of emeralds. These slight upgrades with emeralds can completely change the game into the favor of Rogers. Seems as if when Duke was grabbing the emeralds, 
BLHS went over and grabbed a few of the diamonds from Roger's generator. But Duke gets away with the emeralds, safe and sound here, as BLHS goes more on the passive after grabbing the diamonds. Heading back over BLHS, their bed is now completely decked out with wool and stone and planks and kind of a hut formation which is a pretty cool looking build. Nice and symmetrical. As for Rogers, they have more of an unsymmetrical build here, making it a little more confusing to as where the bed is. But definitely less protection than BLHS has, but still maintains the iron armor and sword and enchantments. Things seem to have slowed down as both teams are now collecting resources and continuing to get their upgrades. Neither team going for any aggressive or offensive plays here, unless, possibly, we could have a flank of BLHS here. And yes, we do. The particles gave it away, but BLHS is going all the way around the base. See, as they go all the way around, hopefully Rogers is seen. And yes, Rogers did see them on the flank. They have the high ground. BLHS doesn't know. Rogers jumps down with a sneak critical with the diamond sword. BLHS tries to escape. But this fight seems to be going Rogers' way as he has 20 health compared to the 10 health of BLHS. Another Rogers player has returned, 2v1. BLHS throwing the fire charge to blow up some of the protection on the bed. But Rogers with the iron sword and diamond sword advantage here is going to be able to take out BLHS. With BLHS down one player, Rogers is going to go on the offensive here. Try to do the same exact thing, but better. Now we see that BLHS does have their staircase finally built. Rogers here he climbs the wall. He's going to go on the flank inside the water, just as BLHS did. But with the sword and armor advantage, can Rogers take out the bed? So we head over to BLHS, there's only one member building on to the bed, adding some more protection here. Plus side of the other BLHS member, but both Rogers members are now both on to the wall, diving in, heading on the offensive towards BLHS. With only one member, this 2v1 can steal the bed for Rogers. BLHS still unaware of the both Rogers players pushing in. They have the leap potions to get high ground. Easy criticals. They take out one. The diamond sword is an easy cleanup. They start to break the protection around the bed. BLHS respawns, but unable to find the Rogers player. They're digging closer and closer. 2v1 ganging up on OSS Dragon. Escapes with the leap potion and tries to swim away. On the inside, we have the other Rogers player trying to slowly break in. Bill is just unaware. He comes down, tries to take out one, takes out one, still has full health to take out the other. Both having diamond swords, but Bill just having the chainmail armor versus the iron. Rogers destroys the bed, and here it goes. All they need to do is take out the BLHS players. There goes one, there goes two. 
And that is game. Game three heading to Rogers. Well, is this dragon with four kills, Duke with three, and the drift ending with two? Game now being Rogers to BLHS one. Rogers winning 2 to 1 against BLHS. It's quite the match with Rogers always seeming to have the advantage with the armors and tools. Playing on waiting on the passive side until getting at the right moment going on offensive, quickly able to take out the bet of BLHS and closing the deal. Seems the strategies of having one player grabbing the resource, the other one on the offensive there. Really worked out for Rogers, winning us game one here is BLHS. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Hopefully the stream quality was great. And we'll see you guys all at the next game. Thanks for watching.